Hey guys! Welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I organize my shelves. I have a pretty weird way of organizing my shelves. I can't really explain it but it'll be easier to understand once I show you guys. A lot of you have been requesting a bookshelf tour since I mentioned that I wanted to start this channel and that is coming. I'm just gonna have to split it into several sections since I do film on my phone and I'm pretty sure it's gonna run out of storage space not even halfway into the tour so if you're interested in a little mini series I'm planning on calling it bookshelf tours if you're interested in that let me know down below I feel like this is the next best thing you're gonna be able to see all of the books that I own at the moment so let's get started so I'm going to start with giving you guys a quick little overview of how my bookshelves look. Alright, now on to how I organize my bookshelf. This first bookshelf that we have right here was actually built by my dad and my brother. I gave them the dimensions and they built it quite nicely. Here on top we have some mass market paperbacks and some large hardbacks. The mass market paperbacks I'm planning to keep, but the hardbacks that are behind them, I'm planning on donating those to little free libraries whenever I get the chance to go to them again. Here this first bookshelf we have some graphic novels, some coloring books, and weirdly sized books. And this first bookshelf is my mixed format bookshelf. If I own multiple books from an author and they are mixed format, this is where they go. As you can see, I have some hardbacks, paperbacks, and then more hardbacks. Of course, I have to display some of my favorite books of all time. And I have some candles from A Court of Candles. These are just the candles that don't really match any books that I have. Here 
Here I have a picture of my friend Brittany and me from when we went to Hobbs Grove. And then at the bottom we have some more mass market paperbacks that I'm planning on also exchanging at Little Free Libraries. Here on top we have some decorations that I got this year and behind them we have some of my favorite book related posters. Here we have Caraval. Right after Caraval we have Petra and Yevin from Dragons of Nova by Elise Kova. And then we have one of my newer posters that is from Boneyard. So onto the bookshelves themselves, these are my review copies. Everything you see here has been either sent to me by publishers or authors. These three right here I've actually bought myself and I've also bought the hardcover editions of these two books right here. Other than that, I've basically received these in exchange for reviews. Also, most of these advanced reader copies have been part of Twitter trades. The way I organize these is by size. I also rarely organize my books vertically. I like to organize them like this since it gives me more space to work with. Moving on to shelf number three, I have all of my paperback copies. This baby is double stacked. You can't see the books behind them, but they are there. I like to organize these by size as well. So I start with the taller books and make my way down from there. So on top of this shelf, I have large hardcovers. And I have extra hardcovers from my next shelves that I'm gonna be showing you. They go up to the ceiling. And I'm so sorry for the glare, but this is where my window starts and I can't really do anything about it. So moving on to shelves number five and six, this is pretty straightforward. This is where I have all of my regular sized hardcovers. And this is also where I display some of my favorite reads. We have Carball, The Edge of Everything, and The Hearts We Sold.
And for bookshelf number 7, I have a shelf dedicated entirely to Sarah J Maas. If you didn't know, she is my favorite author of all time. Right next to Elise Kova, and this is part of my shrine. This top tier is all Throne of Glass related. I have some candles right here. I have a little sticker. A notebook I got for a pre-order. And then I have a bookmark and more candles. This is my pre-order little pouch that I got for pre-ordering Tower of Dawn. And then we're coming on to the second tier, which starts the Akatar section. I have more candles. I have my duplicate copies of Akatar and Aquamath. And then we have one of my favorite pins of all time, which is Feyre by Joe Painter. And then one of my favorite little silhouettes from Mage of Page on Instagram. This third tier holds all of my Aquawar copies and more candles. And then I have some bookmarks by Words by Jasmine and Joe Painter as well. And this fourth tier we're just gonna forget about that's where i shove all of my book swag and other extra little knickknacks And that leads us to my little piece of furniture that is right against the foot of my bed. This is where I have all of my extra books that didn't fit on my shelves. So that's it for this video. Let me know how you organize your shelves. Make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. And I can't wait to get more videos out to you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.